What is going on you guys? Welcome back to Burley Fishing and welcome back to a special episode. We got a giveaway today. I want to give you guys an opportunity to win a Busby Fishing brand new Colony 15. This is like a 3600 size box filled with baits from this month's unboxing. So we're going to go back through all the baits that came in the boxes this month, I'll talk to you about my experience with them, kind of closing thoughts for the month on them. And then I'm gonna pick eight of them, toss them in this box for you, grab you three bags of plastics, as well as a hat, a shirt, and a sticker. Here's all you guys gotta do to win. Click the link in the description below or click the link that's in the pinned top comment. So just follow that link. And then when you get to the website, all you gotta do, do the things that it says to do. Basically, subscribe to my channel, follow us on Instagram, Follow us on Facebook. Uh, follow Busby Fishing on their Instagram or Facebook. And I'll have a couple ways that you guys can have some bonus entries every single day. Things like watching videos or liking posts. It's all you gotta do. So that is all in that description below. Go click that link. Make sure you guys enter for your opportunity to win. You got 10 days. That's right. We're not gonna make you wait a whole month like we did last time. We're not doing that anymore. I don't wanna wait. So 10 days, we drop the giveaway. We done, right? Somebody wins, I'll announce the winner, I'll ship the box out to them myself, and they will get to go catch big bass and enjoy themselves in their new burly fishing gear. So I'm excited for this, hopefully you guys are as well. And of course, as part of this whole thing, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like giveaways, if you like reviews, if you like fishing, I think you're gonna like the channel. Click subscribe, you can also click like on this video, that helps us out a lot, and click the notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. So, without further ado, let's go back through these baits. We're gonna start out with Six Cents. So Six Cents, right off the bat, has a couple of body baits, more than a couple. First up, we got the Hybrid Swim Crank. Now this is a swim bait, with one joint there, two big old trebles, those awesome trebles you always get with your Six Cents baits, feather tied onto that back treble, and skinny little lip. Doesn't dive super deep, it's like one to three feet, but it does create a little extra vibration and noise. It's got a pretty heavy thudding rattle and you know a little like shiner strip there so it puts off a little light refraction. Um, this thing's sweet. I actually really like the way that this thing fished. We did catch, uh, I think I caught a pike on this one uh, a little while back, beginning of the month, but awesome bait, fun to fish with. That's kind of the big thing. It's like five eighths of an ounce, easy to cast, fun to fish, because it's just straight retrieve. You don't have to do too much, uh, but it just looks awesome in the water. So that's that hybrid swim crank. One of my faves. This, they call the speed glide. Speed glide bait, you can see it's been in the water a bit. Back treble tied again, same single joint, just like the hybrid swim crank. This one's a little, a little heavier of a thud, I feel. Uh, it also is a slow sink. So where the hybrid swim crank actually floats up, this one sinks down, slow sinking. So you can cast it out there, let it sit for a second, let it drop in the water column. And then it's just, again, a straight retrieve. You don't really have to do too much with it. And we ended up getting a couple bites on this one actually. And then finally landing actually a pike <laughs> on this thing as well. So, I mean, big bass hunters, pike hunters, like they're, they're good baits. I like those too a lot. Next up, we got a square bill. One of my favorite kind of fall square bills as well. It's a good color. It's like a little bluegill kind of pattern, super purple in the body, translucent, and it's silent, which is why I like it for fall. If we got finicky bass. This is something I like to throw around cover. You're just dealing with like the vibration straight off of the, uh, then you're just dealing with the vibration off of the bait rather than the sound that it puts out, and it can be a game changer. I think it's a sweet bait, and I think you guys are gonna like it, because guess what? It's going in the box. First bait in the box for this month. Boom. All right, so body baits are done. Moving on. We had some gear, we had some plastics, we had some hooks, right? Plastics that we got in this month's box were the Divine Shaky Worms. Now, I get these in the boxes a lot. It can be a little frustrating. I love the worm, but I just keep getting them, and I still have like full packages of them. Need something different. Uh, they make creature baits. They make swim baits, I think. They make tons of different things that they could be sending me and not these, right? Uh, they have some brand new like 10 inch worm. I'd love to see those in the box, but we don't get those. We get whatever's kind of left. And they're usually some variation of green pumpkin. So something on me personally, a little bit frustrating about Six Sense right now. But this worm is the green pumpkin blue. 
it is the smaller, see I've only lost one, right? It's gonna last me a while. They're pretty durable too. So this is a smaller 6.3 inches. Normal one's a little over seven, it's a little bit bigger. So this is a, a nice variation. Got like some finicky fish, they're not responding well to big baits. You can throw this one instead. I like it for fall for that reason. Fall and spring on a shaky head. I think it's gonna be a banger. Pretty pumped for it. Great worm, again, just would love to get some more variety in the Six Cents Premium Super Six sack as far as the plastics that we get. But no big deal, it's still a banger of a bait, so I like it. So let's get to the gear. We got the rod sock. Now I personally barely ever use these, if at all. That said, I probably should because recently I broke a rod while it was in the protective case tube, whatever you want to call it inside the Hobie. It might not have broken with this. I don't know, it might still have, whatever. I got it replaced for free, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, just, I don't know, a little irksome to, to get stuff like that. I get it, there's definitely a value to it, just not my cup of tea. Not something I really wanna see in the box. I'd rather have that value applied elsewhere. Uh, next up, we have this pairing right here. So you got your pegs, and then you got your flipping hook. Now, see this one's still kind of tied, the snow knot, but I will say these flipping hooks are flipping awesome. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but they're pretty great hooks. They work really well. They're easy to tie. They got the little bait keeper hooks on them there. And then the, uh, I think of it as like a tie assist up here as well. Uh, so it's super easy to tie a snow knot on these things on the fly. And then pegs, if you want to peg your weight to it. Solid combo. I mean, I love flipping and pitching. I think this is a great option for that. So it gets the job done, for sure. And there we go. So, Six Cents has limited me. I do have four boxes. I'd love to give you guys like two baits out of each box if I can. I hate to do this, but I'm going to give you guys the Speed Glide. I love this bait. I think it's awesome. I'll pick up another one if I want more, but between this and the rod sleeve, I was like, I can't give them the rod sleeve. I think that'd be criminal. We just wrapped up six cents. Good job, good work. You guys are hanging tight. All right, moving on. We've got, next box we're gonna hit is Warrior Tackle Supply. It feels like a billion years since we fished this box, but <laughs> we did fish it. And we caught fish on some of the baits. This is like, this could have been a month where I slammed all four boxes, but this box stuck me. Uh, all right, so here's the deal. We caught fish on everything but three of these baits. I'm gonna hit those three first. First up, you know, this is funny because I got another box sent to me this month from Canada called Fish Allure, and the, the, the guy that runs that company was joking about this fish when he watched this video. So this is the live target little, little sunfish guy, a little topwater fish. It is, uh, you know, kind of a eye cast best in show, I think 2015. Uh, nobody fishes these really anymore. I don't fish them ever. Uh, it's got this weird like weight in the bottom, which is just looks kind of silly on this side, which is on top. And after hucking this thing around for a little bit, it just doesn't fish like a frog, even just like a straight tapered nose frog, uh, a little like a booyah pad crasher or something. It just doesn't fish the same. And I guess it's generally used in different spots. I didn't have any luck in it. Uh, you know, I have had luck with top water recently, but this thing was not that. I did not have any luck. It does, I mean, I'll give it, it's got super sharp hooks. Uh, I think they're trocar hooks maybe, but like super sharp hooks, should do well. I didn't do well with it, is what it is. Next up, got a little sinking jerk bait. So this guy is a warrior tackle supply bait. We did end up getting, oh, it's got a little, a little, little scratches, little scratches on it. Did end up picking up a pike and maybe a couple other bites and misses on this thing. Uh, so I think Paul fished this the most. This is when we were on that like big chain of lakes. You have to go back to the fish camp adventure videos when this actually went down. That's when I slammed this. So again, ages ago. Uh, but we did catch some fish on this. It's a sink and jerk bait. It's in blue, chrome, orange. Like these are just money colors. So, I mean, no doubt. This is the best house bait that they had in this box. I'll give them that. There's that one. 
pink sinking jerk bait. All right, moving on. Next one we had. This bait is actually sweet. I like this. This is that fish head. Uh, I think it's called the Primal Buzz, right? So the Primal Buzz. Eh. Got to I need to probably bend the wire out a little bit. This thing got smacked. Uh, this thing is pretty sweet, good color. I like it, and it's like a buzz bait with a little different shape to the jig head and an underspin, right? This thing's weighted. Uh, it's pretty hefty. It gets the job done. I like it. It's a solid bait. I'm gonna keep fishing it. Next up, we had the Z-Man cross eyes jig. There's those silly crossed eyes, uh, and this like brown sort of craw pattern here. Uh, I did not catch anything on this. Uh, it, that doesn't mean it's a bad bait. I mean, it's a jig. It's a good jig. It's got like that kind of a football head, gigantic head up front there. Uh, and I did throw on just like these big flap and this is like the zoom, uh, chunk. I think it is like the little trailer there, zoom chunk, uh, which is, it looks good. It looks good in the water. Will catch fish, can confirm, have caught fish on these before. Just did not this time, but not a bad bait. Then we have the spoon. Now, I don't know about you guys. I don't fish spoons hardly ever. It's a pretty hefty spoon. It's got a very unique shape to it. Here's a line tie back here, very interesting. Uh, I think you can also line tie it up here just to change things up. So you just move like the little snap ring there to the top. Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with the spoon. I mean, I used to fish, uh, you know, cast masters all the time, but just don't that often. And this being a very unique, different shape, I'm not really sure how to fish it. And they don't really have instructions in the Warrior Tackle Supply box or tips and videos on YouTube or whatever that I can watch. Uh, so I'm just gonna hang on to it until I figure out what to do with it, huh? This is gonna be a wall of Warrior Tackle Supply, I believe. I couldn't tell you guys why I keep getting these, but. Stay tuned for this month's Warrior Tackle Supply. We got the biggest box that they offer. Uh, it's sort of a, a final, there's the third one, three strikes, you're out. We're gonna see if they wow me with that one. All right, moving on. This is the last bait in the box. We have the Big Bite Baits Smalley Smasher. Yes, this thing catches fish, of course it does. Great drop shot bait, I absolutely love it. Fish were hammering this thing all day long. This was probably the easiest bait in the box to knock out. And that's because I've already knocked it out because need I remind you guys, they sent me basically 60% of the same exact box that they did the month before. So, eh, not cool. Let's pick some baits for you, huh? Here's what I'm thinking. I got enough jigs. You guys are gonna hammer on a jig. So you're getting the jig and I'll even leave this trailer on. You get a zoom chunk. <laughs> There's no point in taking it off right now. It's jerkbait season. I'm also gonna give you the jerkbait from Warrior Tackle Supply. I think it's fine. It's got VMC hooks on it. Like you're gonna catch fish on it. So there you go, jerkbait as well. I won't even give you the silly sunfish. I'm just gonna put them, look at this. This is, this is like the, the rip edition up top. All right, so moving on. All right guys, final two. The two that most of us are split on, MTB or Monster Bass. So let's compare them. Away team goes first. Here we go through no fault of this bait, but we had the Big Bite Baits Creature Bait, which is the cla it's a classic, it's a classic, which is why there should be nothing wrong with this. But you got this big old Creature Bait, right? That tube style body, tons of flapping appendages. I would have liked to have Carolina rigged it. I couldn't on the water we were on. It just wouldn't work with the heavy matted grass that was everywhere. Uh, class again, classic bait should work fine. I am, this, the hate from it is really my fault. Like the body of water we were on, the conditions we were in that day, the bite turned off. It's because I fished this thing for like two hours without catching anything. It was the last bait of the mega slam that you guys just watched. And if you hadn't, just go back to the last two videos I uploaded, part one and two. This is in part two. We got stuck on it. It was the last bait out of 20, I think there was 23 total baits amongst the three boxes we were slamming. What the heck? We got stuck on this thing for so long. It was terrible. We had one of the cooler baits in the box, that Duo Realis Spy Bait. It's a sweet bait. Looks good, right? It's pretty heavy, actually. I didn't even notice this when I was unboxing it the first time, but it's got two weights right here. It's heavy, like it sinks pretty fast. And, you know, again, I, I don't know how to fish this. You know, they, get, they had like 27 inserts in this box. They didn't have anything about spy bait fishing. Yeah, they had all these inserts in this box, but nothing about spy bait fishing. 
it's just a, to, I guess, like kind of a unique way of fishing. It's just not something I ever really do. I know it works. Don't t don't get me wrong. Like I know it works. I just don't do it. Um, asked you guys if you knew how to do it. A few people commented back and helped me out, and we ended up catching a bass on this. One of the smaller guys, but we just kind of started hucking it where we thought they were. They were up shallow. Uh, this is a, a, you know, again, go back to the last two videos, you'll see what happened. But solid bait nonetheless. One of the cooler baits in the box, I think, overall, uh, just because it's unique. But again, I don't fish this way. You guys might. So I'm going to put this in the box. There you go. You get a spy bait. I even said it was one of my favorite baits. See, try to hook you guys up. <laughs> Mostly because I can't really give you the rest of this stuff. You'll see why. Next up, we had the Hypo Twist. This thing comes from Weston, uh, often getting novelty baits from Weston in the box. However, this one, kind of cool. So it's a top water prop bait, and it's got this little boot, kind of like the Booyah Toad Runners. Very subtle top water. It's, you know, compared to even like a Whopper Plopper, this is like silent. This is silent, maybe deadly. Uh, we caught a rock bass on it. That's a win. I had a few like big explosions on it, big miss on a Friday night. And then Saturday like morning is when I got that rock bass, but pretty sweet bait nonetheless. I do, I do like it. I think it's pretty cool. Next up we have the good old hula popper and this like crazy peacock looking purple and blue, blue feather on the back. This is something that like Paul absolutely loves. Paul's co-host of the podcast, Burley Fishing Podcast. Go like and subscribe. This is something that he loves. Not this guy, not one of my favorites. Uh, I like more subtle topwater poppers. This is like a gurgling popper. And he even had to work it like really, really slow and as, as like finessey as he could with this thing in order to get a bite on it. We ended up catching a fish on it, which is great. You can see the tail's kind of beat up there, but again, I've got a couple of these Hula Popper 2.0s. I just don't really like the colors of them. I don't really like the action of them. I just don't fish them that much. So, I don't know, not me. Not, not my cup of tea, you know? Oh, okay, so this one, <laughs> this bed's going on the wall for a different reason. Uh, so this is the Castaic Loco 10. It's a 10 foot diving crankbait. The funny thing is, I caught a near five pounder on this thing in two feet of water. Not really how it's supposed to be used, but check out like the lip. This is one fish, one catch. Lip like just scratched all the heck. Looks awesome. Body held up good. I like the rattle to this thing. I, I really did like the action in the water. I think it did well. My problem, as I unboxed it, you guys already saw, was with these hooks. They're so cheap, they look so cheap. And they are so cheap, because look at this front hook. That is what this giant fish did, just unfolded this thing. I'm lucky I landed it. I like to fish these things the way they come out of the box, granted. That said, if you guys got this in your box, please change the trebles. Put better trebles on this. I don't want you to lose fish because of this. This is not a great bait for a multitude of reasons, but it will catch big fish. As you saw, it's a, it's a body bait, man. Like, you know, of course it's going to catch fish. It's just definitely not a crankbait that I'm going to be reaching for. And it's been out of whack. So it's going on the wall. I'm going to look at it right here on the wall. I'm going to say, I caught a PB on you. Thank you. But I'm not going to fish you anymore. Maybe I'll change the trebles one day. I don't know. Probably not. All right, next up, this is the Booyah Baits One Knocker. And this thing is pretty awesome. I love the One Knocker. It's got a very heavy thud to it. It's great lipless bait. Uh, I love the Booyah lipless baits, the red eye on that. And then this little like red bottom pattern is nifty as well. Just more of like natural greens and tans to it. Uh, but gets the job done. It caught fish. It did great. I knew it was gonna do great like out of the box i was like ah this will be fine this will be good and it was last two baits from mtb we had the feather light the little uh call them half hot they're a half hot ewg hook they live in my go-to box now in the big b this is the colony 28 all right so that right there is the half hot eagle claw ewg little baby ewg if you guys watched part one and two of the big mega slam, you guys saw Paul catch a fish on this. All he did was rig up a little weightless worm with, uh, I'm not sure what they call them, but like the little willow leaf that screws into the worm. That was pretty sweet. Uh, you can also drop shot. That's what I normally use this for is weedless drop shot. I think it's great for that. By the way, on that video, uh, it sounded like I was talking trash about Eagle Claw. Um, I just don't like Eagle Claw. 
That's it. Like if I'm going to go buy hooks, I don't buy Eagle Claw. Not that there's anything wrong with the company. I don't think a couple of you guys said you don't like the hooks because they dull fast and they, they bend a little bit easier than other hooks. So it's like a softer metal. I'd rather grab other brands that are on the shelf. That's all I was saying. That said, this little half hot, pretty cool hook. Like I like that small EWG. It's in my go-to box. Gonna use it, right? If you guys love Eagle Claw. Awesome. More power to you. That's what this industry is all about. So enjoy what you enjoy. I'll enjoy what I enjoy. And uh, moving on. All right. This is a scam shad. So black and blue body, supposed to be fish in a fluke style. You have a, uh, a hook keeper section here. And I guess the idea behind this was that you could rig this sort of Texas style, you know, run an EWG through this. And then you have the hook just sit in this little hook holder area and uh, you don't have to bury the hook. Better hookup ratio, maybe. Uh, we did catch a ton of fish on this. It was Paul, Paul's favorite bait uh, out of this box. So I'll just put it out there for you guys. It catches fish. It's a very interesting bait, to say the least. Moving on. That's it for MTB. I owe you guys one more bait from that box. Here's what I'm going to give you. I want you to catch fish this fall. I'm going to throw you the lipless. This is an awesome bait, this little Booyah one knocker. I think you're going to enjoy it. This thing will catch fish this fall. So go get a big one on me. MTD is done. We're moving on. Just put these up on the I don't use this stuff wall real quick. There we go. Good. This giveaway is sponsored by Busby Fishing. You guys can go check out busby.com to see Busby Fishing's amazing new engineered modular tackle boxes. I think you're going to love them. And whoever wins this giveaway is going to get a Colony 15. You guys see me fish them all the time on my videos. Uh, Paul and I both use them all the time, and I think they're fantastic. I think you're going to love it too. I'm so excited that they decided to partner with us for this giveaway, and I can't wait till one of you guys get your hands on this box. Go check them out. Do me a favor. When you click that link in the description below, part of the giveaway opportunity here, how to earn extra entries, is to go follow those guys. So click that link and follow through there. Here we go. All right, you guys. Last box. We got our boys Monster Bass. So we're going to go through this box here. All right. So first two baits, because they go hand in hand, that we're going to go through would be the Somatis Baits Drop Shot Plastic, which we paired up with the standout hook. Now, again, if you guys follow the Monster Bass YouTube channel, if you don't, go check it out because uh, your boy's on there all the time. Uh, every month I drop a video on there as well as here. Now, that would be sponsored by Monster Bass. So I appreciate those guys a lot. I'm an ambassador for them. Uh, and I did a video on this drop shot standout hook. This is a Daiichi hook. I think it does a great job. It's my go-to drop shot hook because it's easy to tie on. One of the easiest ones to rig out there. It stands out. As the name says, it doesn't get tangled. It does a great job. One of my favorite hooks to use in general, but especially when I'm drop shotting. Somatis Plastic is just a standard like kind of half shell worm, but it's pretty durable. And it's got this little like rib on the back there that allows it to get a little more push from the water, a little more action from the tail. And I had a lot of luck, a lot of success this month getting bites on that. The next plastic in here, uh, I saw a little, you know, like kind of back and forth from you guys on this, uh, on the Monster Bass channel. You know, whether you guys like the Mad Yabby or didn't like the Mad Yabby, I gotta tell you, I love this thing. This is a sick craw. So the Mad Yabby, a river to sea, well actually, I fish this black and blue color the most, and Paul got this sick like orange color in his box, but check this out. So here's the Mad Yabby. It's got these big old honking claws, which have little flaps on them there, so they catch water. Uh, and they move on the ground up and down if you're just like dragging it. But it's got some pretty flashy colors to it. It's got tons of appendages. And of course you can break it off and this becomes like at this point like a really good jig trailer right there. I ended up getting a ton of bites on this thing and I lost several rigs of this. It was getting attacked by both pike and bass. And I just kept losing these dang things. But again, it's, it's durable as long as you don't lose the whole rig. This thing holds up really well, fish after fish after fish, and it's easy to rig up a bunch of different ways. So throw, I threw it on a swim jig, I had it on a little underspin, we threw it on a buzz bait, we threw it on a spinner bait, 
We threw it on uh, flipping and pitching rigs, like all over the place with this thing, but it just gets the job done. I think it's a great bait. It smells terrible, but who cares? As long as the fish bite it, that's great. Then we had these guys, Big Bite Baits BB Kicker. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a big bait, but trust me when I tell you, it will catch fish. Very easy to rig a bunch of different ways. It's got this giant honking paddle tail on the back. Look at that thing. Catches tons and tons of water. Here's what that does for it. It does ride really high in the water column. So rig it heavier if you need to get it down for sure. Got a little like hook hiding section right in there. No sections, pretty durable. Uh, these things, I fished them quite a bit on a bunch of different rigs. They hold up pretty well uh, as far as plastics go. It held up pretty well. So I did enjoy fishing this thing. My favorite way to rig this thing was on an underspin. Belly weighted underspin, go heavier, let it sink down a little bit, fish it back. It held up really well that way and I caught a ton of fish on it that way on two different occasions. So I did actually really like this bait. I was surprised by it. Just like with that scam shad, I was like three, three man. I lost two scam shads before I figured it out. But, you know, it, it is what it is. It, it's a pretty sweet plastic. Next up, we had that zero gravity underspin with that gold willow leaf blade there. It, you know, comes in a more natural color, a little bit translucent, kind of like flashy there with that weight that's in that and a super long hook here. So you're gonna wanna throw like a longer paddle tail on it. I will tell you though, this thing is easy to fish. I rigged it up with just some standard paddle tails, was hucking it out there and fish were just going after it. This thing is a dinner bell and it's awesome. Uh, I do like it. I like this style of bait. Uh, I have quite a few of these, some from Sixth Sense as well are pretty nice, but this is just a solid heckin' bait and it's really fun to fish. Next up, we had that Super K Jigs Topwater. Again, I love the color. I love the feather tied onto the end of it. I like that it's got a little cupped mouth, so it spits a little bit of water. I like the curved body. I think that it pops through the water pretty well. We found out, a lot of you guys were asking about this thing. We found out the best way to rig this thing is with a little bit heavier monofilament line as a, at least a leader tied onto this and then tie a loop knot on it. And once we did that, it may not have been the easiest thing to cast. It's pretty light. We were casting on a super windy day, like wind picked up to about 17 miles an hour. So bear that in mind this thing once you get it out there on that mono is super easy to walk it walks really well i'm not even good at walking the dog and i was able to walk this just fine so maybe a little pro tip i understand you know if you're fishing it rigged out of the box on whatever setup you got it might be frustrating if it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing i definitely had trouble from the beginning with this uh it was not possible on braid at all like it just didn't work uh, but once you tie in that leader with some mono loop knot even like it it did wonders so maybe try that if you guys are struggling with this thing next up got another jerk bait now this one i do actually like a lot this is a slow sinking jerk bait i like the size of it got two hooks on it that are sharp uh it has a pretty good action it is not a slashing bait so you're not you it, as far as jerk bait goes it's not one that you have to jerk that much you don't really have to do much with this thing except straight retrieve it and then like pause let it sink much like you would use a suspending bait, you kind of like pause, it sits there. With a slow sink, you pause and it slowly goes down. And you, I, I was getting bites on it that way for the most part. So great bait, easy to fish. I'm gonna give you guys this. I'm gonna throw this in the box for this month as well. Other thing I'm gonna throw in there is this underspin for you guys, that zero gravity underspin. I think you're gonna like that a lot. Yo, we did it, we're on the last bait. All right guys, <laughs> this is a great bait. It broke, might have been my fault. It's got lighter trebles on it. So anyways, this is a Strike King Lucky Shad. This is like their, their oyster, I think it was like blue oyster color uh, that came in. I've got another color that's a little more shad patterny, but this is the one that I caught fish on. Uh, I think it's just cause it was, it, it fit more of the pattern we were fishing. There's that right there. Great bait, it's got a long lip to it. So you know it's diving a little bit deeper. It's super light, but it's easy to cast on like a spinning setup or for me like a DC setup. So if you got, like an SLX DC, Curato DC, whatever. It's really easy to cast something like this out on that. And it does a great job. So nice colors, sturdy bait. Other than the trebles, I'm gonna have to swap out the trebles on this one. That front treble just snapped clean off on a fish's mouth. He was thrashing around being a jerk, so I think it was his fault. It was my fault. All right, 
Anyways, that's the Lucky Shad. Great bait as well. I think we did it. We did it. We got through all those baits. All right, guys. So keep in mind, this giveaway is sponsored by Busby Fishing. So go check them out. Follow the link in the description. And the winner of this giveaway is going to get this Busby Colony 15. It's like 3,600 size box, right? Super durable. Basically not able to break it. You're going to be getting the Six Cents Silent. This is the 50S Silent Square Bill. You got that cross eyes jig from Z Man, zero gravity underspin, Booyah Baits one knocker lipless, and then three little jerk bait style baits. You got that Warrior Tackle Supply jerk bait. Great color for fall fishing right now. Love you guys so much. I'm going to give you this Duo Realis spy bait. There you go. And then we got that Bait Lab slow sinking jerk bait as well. Boom. And finally, we got that speed glide that you guys are going to be getting as well. Monster Hunter. It's going to be sick. All right, you guys. There's the box. Let's grab you some plastics. All right, you guys. For plastics, here's what you got. Oh, there's a hook in that one. You got a pre-rigged bag of Somatis Bates Craws. Again, I think the plastics these guys make are pretty awesome. Oh, made in the USA. That's neat. There we go. So Somatis Bates Craws. Again, finesse kind of setup. Some Strike King KVD Ned Ochos. It may or may not be one missing from there, but they're a great Ned rig bait. <laughs> and then me, these guys. Uh, so this came in my Canada box that was sent to me this month. These are the Sweet Potato 5-inch Stick Bait Worm. One of you guys is going to love these. They catch fish. They caught fish up here. Don't get me wrong. They look funky. They're going to catch fish. You guys will like them. All right. Boom. That's it. So again, this giveaway sponsored by Busby Fishing. All you got to do to enter the giveaway, click the link below. We got 10 days until this thing ends. So be sure to enter every single day. All you got to do is like subscribe, follow different channels. We're on Instagram, Facebook. Also follow Busby Fishing on their channels. And then I'm going to give you guys a few opportunities to enter daily. Things like watching certain videos. I don't know, some other bonus entry ways. So just keep clicking that link every single day. The more times you enter, the more chances you have to win. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited for whoever amongst you wins this Busby Fishing box. I've been using them a lot. Fantastic. You're going to love it. But that's it for this unboxing, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for all of next month's unboxings and fishing videos, as well as gear reviews coming your way. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can see when we post those videos. And hey, smash a like on this video. Share it around. The more people that enter these giveaways, the bigger the channel gets the better the giveaways get. You know, we're upgrading boxes as we go. Who knows what's next as far as the baits, maybe the gear, I don't know. At 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away a reel. Uh, not just any reel, not a cheap one, like a $150 reel. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. Uh, the more you help me grow by sharing these giveaways, the better we do. So thank you so much again for watching you guys and we'll catch you out on the water.